Hey folks, it's Duke here, Holiday World of Katy. Katy, Texas, just west of Houston, exit 737 on Interstate 10, right in the heart of America. And uh, today we're looking at this Alpine 3720 MD. And it is a beautiful RV. We're gonna take a look at some of the features on the outside. Uh, and then we'll take a look at some of the features, the floor plan on the inside. This one, we're a little bit near the freeway right now, so hopefully there isn't too much noise coming from that. But let's start right over here on the side. Take a quick look at the unloaded vehicle weight. It is 14,130 pounds dry. 16,500 is your max. When you, when you max out on your carrying capacity there, here is uh, the propane tanks. There's two 30-pound propane tanks. Here is the pass-through storage. We'll take another look at it from the other side. And here is your convenience center right here where you have your key TV integrates, uh, uh, your satellite cable, everything into one. And then this satellite prep right here, if you want to put a satellite dish on your roof, no problem. It's already pre-wired. You don't have to drill any holes. Hot and cold shower. There's your tank flush, the water connections, the low point drains. Uh, it's all right there. This one does have a tankless water heater, so it is hot water on demand. There is no uh, capacity on that. Another thing that it does have is an electric cord reel built in, so you don't have to lug the cord around. You can retract the cord just by pushing this button right here, no problem. And in the back, it's got camera prep and frameless windows all around there's the ladder walkable roof you see it's got these frameless windows they open from the bottom outward so we'll walk around the other side and take a look at that a little bit overcast today it's been hot in houston but it is still a great place to be alive here is the road armor uh kingpin right here it's got this pivoting head with this uh rubber uh, chunk of rubber in there this pivots and it reduces the amount the effects of chucking uh, when you're uh, wear and tear on your rig, basically. Another thing that does that is this uh, road armor suspension. It's got a total of six inches of play, three inches up, three inches down. That will uh, reduce the uh, wear and tear on your rig as well. Here's the automatic leveling system right here. Perfectly uh, ergonomically located where you can see the kingpin to raise and lower your rig with no problem. And that mirror right there they call that hitch vision that is patented so you can see the kingpin as you are driving up backing up your truck and here is the hydraulic system this is what you'll find in high-end rvs it's got a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter it's solar prepped it has a solar charge controller this one has a 30 amp solar charge controller it also has two 200 watt solar panels up on the roof so that's the solar flex 400 i don't know if you can see them from right here but uh it does have the two 200 watt panels all our rigs will come with at least a battery and propane there's no extra charge for that sorry about the camera work right here so we're we'll take a look inside this uh pass through storage area here you see those aluminum studs double welded welded on each side you can see that vapor barrier right there that's underneath the uh, Dynaspan flooring. That flooring has a 25-year warranty. It's a single piece in each section. There's no tongue and groove. There's no 4x8s. And you see it's ducted. So this area is heated. It's got PEX plumbing. Good down to negative 10 degrees. You see the tie-downs right there. And that's a solid uh, door. It's got a nice uh, awning light there. I don't know if you can see the LED lighting. Stereo speakers. So we're gonna take a look inside. First, we're gonna take a look at this solid step by Lippert. Makes contact with the ground. It's wide, great platform for entering and exiting the coach. It's got a good grab handle. So this has the Solar Flex 400. It's a 400i. It means there's a solar inverter. I mean, a uh, an inverter. There's a, a two 200 watt solar panels. And it's flexible, you can add another one if you like. There's the polar pack, that means it has got the extended season protection. And we're looking at the Alpine 320 MD. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside. I am Duke, I'm your video host here at Holiday World of Katy. We're part of the Priority RV Network. 
you can get uh, assistance in any state in the country if you're out traveling and you run into a uh, issue. So this is the area, the living area. But we're going the first place we're gonna look at this uh, this room right here. This is a uh, they call this a mid den. The MD might be mid den. Sometimes they call this a BR. So if you're sitting on the sofa, it's got a TV right here, big screen TV storage up there storage down there and then there's also storage here there's a hutch on the other side and uh, you can access it from either side so I think I've featured this one on my channel before but it's been a little bit and we have it in stock right now so I thought I would go ahead and uh, take another look at it you see the stereo speakers right there uh, in this uh, entertainment room here and then you have a desk so you could use this for an office you could use it for a bedroom it's got a big mirror right there so this makes into a bed. This is a trifold sofa, this Thomas Paine furniture. But there's lots of windows in here. So if you're using this for an office, you're going to be very comfortable sitting here uh, with your computer. Uh, look outside. You're not going to feel claustrophobic. So that is the uh, mid-den. And then this section back here is like the what you'd find in a rear living, the RL uh, in a... Uh, like if you look at a Montana 295 RL, uh, it might be this similar floor plan right here, except it wouldn't have that extra room. You've got a dinette with some uh, nice uh, traditional looking chairs. There's a leaf that extends on that. Then you have the theater seats right there that will vibrate. They're heated. There's accent lighting that comes on underneath them. And uh, let's see if I can turn that on. All right, I'll figure that out. But that is the theater seats. They are recliners. We've got these valances here, give you complete privacy. So this one has a, a screen and a privacy shade, a blackout privacy shade. So it'll black it out all together. And if somebody's walking by at night, they can't see in the edges of your curtain. That's Interstate 10 right there. Uh, and uh, that bridge over there, that's exit 737 on Peterson Road. You just go up there and take a U-turn if you're coming from Houston and come back over the freeway on this feeder road and you enter at Holiday World. There we are, Holiday World of Katy. Centrally located right in the middle of uh, the country. But uh, people are just going about their business today out here taking care of carrying those loads and things like that. All right, back to back to the business at hand here we've got a triple wide sofa that makes into a king bed so if you're sitting here watching TV your big screen TV you get a little sleepy after you have your lunch you can just climb right over here on the sofa take a nap you have guests this makes into a king size bed you need to charge your phone no problem you've got the built-in chargers on each side you've got a 110 on each side lots of windows that's the Another star of the show here. You've got a nice view all the way around. Even in the hallway, look at that. There's a window over there, a window in the door. That's RV luxury. And you can experience that here in America with the Alpine 3720MD. There's some storage up above, some cubby storage. You can put all your awards up there that you've got for being such a great human being. There is the fireplace. That is a, uh, it provides heat and ambiance. There's some ambiance right there. Look at that. That's beautiful. You can enjoy that. Stereo speakers, big screen TV. This is nice. And this one has a nice uh, kitchen. Look at that stove. That is a residential stove. It's an insignia. It's got the four burner cooktop. This is a very nice stove and a good size oven. It's not your, uh, you could put a turkey in there. This is a full size oven. So you're not, uh, if you're going full time, Doing some uh, extended season camping, snowbird, whatever it is, uh, this will work for you. It has this convection microwave oven. It's also the Insignia brand. So we've got everything in this one. There's some storage up there. And you have the residential fridge. So if your power goes out or you're hauling this down the road, you still have those 200 watt, uh, two 200 watt solar panels on the roof. Total of 400 watts. That'll keep your fridge going. Uh, with your batteries, solar charge converter. There's a wine rack right there. You can put your uh, wine bottles up there. 
this nice looking island sorry about my finger in the picture and you've got the stainless steel sink residential uh, uh, fixture right there look at that it's stainless steel there's two basins there's a smaller one right over there well I'll go ahead and open it up so you got a place you could put some soapy water right there if you want to you can do whatever you want you know how a sink works you know how they operate this is your uh, two trash cans one for recycling if you want you got four drawers down there there's some storage space down here that's nice look at that pex plumbing you see those residential hinges nice hardware this rig is rated for full-time use uh, by the manufacturer it's not made just you know it, it's made to hold up again you've got access on both sides of, uh, of this little hutch right here so the hutch you could put air fryer keurig uh, you've got plugs over here power a couple of power supplies you can do whatever you want you can put a laptop right there working in the kitchen keeping up with business uh, so this, if you're doing some uh, working from home and you want to be out on the road, enjoying the RV lifestyle, this is a nice rig right here. Hopefully I'm capturing it. You see those lighting fixtures up there. It's got a ceiling fan. I don't have the accent lighting on up there, but it's got some. There is no, uh, right here, there is no, uh, nothing to stub your toe on that's uh it's, if it's flush so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the bedroom my name is Duke I'm your uh, besides being your video host here on YouTube I am in the sales department if you want to uh, look at this rig or any of the ones you see on our channel or anything that we have on our website just contact me directly at 281-467-0659 my uh, phone number is in the description below and if you want to help me out click the like button uh, that will help my uh, videos get more views i appreciate it if you uh getting anything out of this one watched it all the way this far thank you for tagging along so we're going to walk down this hallway you should walk in the door just to the right so here's the entry door it's got a screen here you can have a nice screen door if the weather's nice place to hang up your keys hang up your jacket right there it's got the road vac that's a built-in vacuum cleaner uh, there's your fuse panel and a big window right here in the hallway. That is also your emergency exit. We recommend going out of that feet first. There's your uh, tankless water heater controls. This is your ceiling fan control, and this is for the uh, in-command system. So uh, if you want to, you can download an app and put this on your phone, and that's what most people do. You can control your awnings, your air conditioner, the lights, the slides. Uh, you can see how your uh, you can, the tank heaters, you can check all your uh, levels, water pump, your battery, the exterior lights, see if they're on or off. So it's pretty cool. And uh, there is an app. You just download it from the App Store. Just put in command in the App Store. You could download the app and you can test it right now if you want to. Just do it in test mode. It won't be paired up with any RV, but you can see exactly how it works on your own cell phone. Lots of storage here in the bathroom. This rig is not level right now, so that door closed. So you've got some storage here. Again, you see those residential hinges, nice hardware. You've got storage there for, uh, for a lot of stuff there, and you have a medicine cabinet right there. It's a pretty good size, and there is a big mirror, and there's a light up there. There's some uh, skylight, nice size shower, and a place to sit down. You have a skylight up there and you have an entry here into the bedroom from the bathroom or the hallway so whichever you prefer you've got uh, five drawers on this uh, chest of drawers and a TV right there and you have this little bench right here another fire exit right there you can uh, put your shoes in there or whatever you want to you got plenty of room for your shoes down there but it's a place to sit down and uh, put your shoes on, sit here and chat in the morning uh, when you're getting ready, waking up. And it's a nice uh, homey environment. You've got a window on each side of the bed. There are, uh, uh, there's a plug over here if you need to hook up a CPAP machine. I don't know if you can see it, it's right at the base of the, uh, uh, underneath that shelf. And there's a couple of lights up there, right there on that headboard there's a 
another plug I believe under there oh here if you also if you wanted to uh, hook up a CPAP you could just put it in here on the table you've got a plug over there so you've got some options there if you have a CPAP and then you've got these sliding doors here for the closet and it's a good size closet up in here there's the hose for your vacuum And a place to hook up a washer dryer if you want to do that hey I appreciate you viewing my video this AC is quieter here it's a uh, it's got residential filters in it this is more of a res residential style uh, AC system it's got three units in it I've got all three of them turned on right now but I'm gonna turn them off because uh, we don't need to uh, have them on we'll just running out here so we're gonna show you how that works if you want to turn off your ACs just push that you push off and there are so that's the bedroom AC and we're gonna that's the living room that's off that's the kitchen AC so that's it says optional kitchen AC uh, you don't have to run that one unless it's just really hot it's a little bit louder than the other two the other two are very quiet this one just drops the air right into the rig right there the other two are ducted so if it's really hot need the extra cooling power you've got it otherwise if you're sitting here watching a golf game and you want a quiet AC system uh, this will be perfect you don't have to run the captions while you're watching golf or uh, watching TV just to hear what's going on but thank you again for viewing my video I look forward to hearing from you uh, I'll show you how easy it is to do business over here at Holiday World of Katy we don't charge dealer prep fees we don't charge extra uh, for freight it's all included in the price we'll give you a price with no hassle all we charge is the sales tax and title and license fees. There's no gimmicks. It's just straightforward. And then uh, when you come pick up the rig, you'll already know all the numbers uh, in advance. If you if you if we make a deal in advance and uh, we'll spend a couple of hours showing you how everything works on the inside and outside. It's not limited to two hours, however long it takes. If you have questions, we want you to ask them. And then you'll be welcome to stay on our campground for a couple of days and check the rig out before you head home even if you live five minutes away i recommend that and i'll be your not only will i be your salesperson i'll be your point of contact before after whenever if you have a question from the campground if you've been in the rig for six months or a year two years three years i'll have you on my cell phone i'll always call you back if you call me or if you send me a text i'll always follow up if i'm not busy i'll answer the phone right then so thank you again for viewing my video and I uh, hope you are enjoying the day today. Thank you.